Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We have a list of 11 properties. It's a cool day filled with a lot of interesting properties. And uh, let's get started. 1168 Bernard uh, was one of the first, this street and McDowell were the first phase that Mattamy built village townhouses. And what I mean by that is a three-story home with a single car garage and really no backyard. There's a balcony and a front yard. So we've seen this layout and this model go for you know, 375, 380, even in a couple cases, a little bit more than 380. So here's the thing about this one is it's like 13 years old. I would be concerned about this one and I can't tell from the pictures. First of all, the carpet's probably 12 years old. It's probably not been replaced. Uh, we're also looking at potentially a new roof, new air conditioning, a new furnace, which would cl quickly bring it up to the cost of buying something that's four or five years old. Now the benefit to you if you hang around long enough is that you're not gonna have to do that stuff because it's all brand new. So for the right price, I could see this one certainly uh, appealing to a lot of buyers that are maybe, they don't love the new areas as much. This one, there's a lot of green space around it. It has nice surroundings. Now, if you want a double car garage right now in Milton, it's very, very, very hard to find it under $500,000. And this one on McEastern is a chance to do that. It's only a two bedroom, 15 something, between 15 and 1600 square feet. So on your main floor, what you have is this little room here. So when you first walk in, it's almost like a finished basement, if you think about it, above grade. So there's nothing below. There's It's a concrete slab and that's what you have there's nothing below grade on this one second story is most of your living area including a movable island right here they've i think that backsplash looks pretty nice with the color of the cabinets you don't really have a backyard here you have uh this probably 400 square foot patio walkout from the kitchen so i've talked about this before when you're selling this kind of home I think you have to be overt about the fact that above this space, you can see it kind of here is a double garage. So one of the mandatory photos, at least in my mind, is you have to have something showing that double garage because it's such a huge benefit to someone who has capped their price at 500,000, which pretty much if, I mean, this is a townhouse, but you're looking mostly at single car garage townhouses or possibly semi-detached under five. So this one can really stand out from the crowd. The only thing you sacrifice is having a backyard per se. But I mean, if you don't want grass, then this might be a good option. And you can see how much stuff they've put on here. You cannot put a hot tub, I've already checked. Now I'm excited to introduce this one to you on Saytalk Crescent. Saytalk is just off of Childs, just kind of a little bit southeast of the mall. Very quiet street. A lot of people don't even know about this street because you don't go on it if you don't live there. So uh, stucco exterior, you've got a wide driveway here. You've got a big 55 by 110 foot lot. And I saw this home when it was ripped right down to the studs. So we're talking new insulation in the attic, uh, upgraded insulation in the walls, new carpet, new flooring, uh, new paint, just, I mean, everything. So this is really like getting a new home. Like, uh, I don't want to compare it to a Mattamy home, but I'm just saying you're getting like a new home in an old neighborhood on a big lot which with mature trees. And I think that's the dream for a lot of people. That's an electric fireplace right here uh, with some nice brickwork behind. So the other thing here is it's got four bedrooms. So most of the detached homes, especially in this price range, you go up to Dorset Park, you're going to find a lot of them are three bedrooms. That fourth bedroom can be a huge benefit to somebody. And they're all nice sized rooms. And then you have a finished basement. There's a couple shots of the lot. There's a little deck uh, coming off the, uh, there's the walkout from the dining area. It's awesome. I'm excited to bring this one out. Uh, I think it was priced really well, and I think we have so far a lot of activity. So if you want to see this one, reach out to us right away. Let us know because I, I have a feeling, you never know for sure when you launch something, but I have a feeling that the activity is really going to start to move on this. So we've seen a couple homes on Clements and uh, even up in Dorset Park go for right around $700,000. This one on Sunnyvale is 709. It's a 58 by 116 foot lot, which is a little bit bigger than you see in this neighborhood. 
and they've done a what I think is a really nice job renovating this home. Uh, it looks cozy, comfortable. Now some of those other homes are four bedrooms. This is a three, but I think they're making it up in uh, in some of the upgrades that they've done. And you also happen to have a nice pool in the backyard. So I like this one. I think it's great. 709 should do well. So 1420 Crozier, one of the most difficult price ranges right now is between about 700 and 850. I talk about it. If you click up in the extras there, you can, uh, you can see our latest price report video where I talk about that. So unfortunately, this price range has had a couple sales that went for, I, I think, a lot less than what they could have. As a result, you see something like this on Crozier. So they were uh, up at 779 and said, hey, you know what? Let's make a bold move. Let's bring it down to 739 and uh, let's get some action on this. So that's exactly, I mean, this is a good, if you look at like the one on Terrell, same size as this one, but it doesn't have the finished basement, doesn't have the landscaping, and definitely doesn't have the upgrades as this one. So this is, in my eyes, the best that you can get under 750 right now. It is main floor, you've got a, um, an office, separate living dining, you've got a butler's pantry between the dining and the kitchen, big open concept family room here. You've got a 60 foot wide lot, which is really, really hard to find. Builders now, you're lucky if you get anything above 40 feet. You've got a wine cellar in here and uh, lots of space in the backyard patio here and then a patio just behind. You can see the little couch just on the other side there. There it is right there. So I'll tell you, this is a screamer of a deal. <coughs> Last one on the list is Taylor Court. So it looks like it's 3,000 to 3,500 square feet without a finished basement. That's usually this price range usually has larger homes especially if it's only a 1.6 acres so really what they're playing in here is the quality game is that they they do have a very nice looking home i i would argue probably better than a lot of the ones in this price range that's a nice little outbuilding right there uh triple car garage so th they've got the um you know the viking range and everything like that it's a nice uh home but like i said you can find bigger in this price range so I'm hoping that this one has the is dressed to impress. If you look at where it is, uh, it's right by Brookville Public School. Uh, it's this lot right here. So even though it's 1.6 acres, it looks like you've got a tree line that cuts through the lot there. So functionally, are you really going to use this part of your lot or is the other guy going to get the benefit of it? Um, you may also want to make friends with the neighbor here because he's got a tennis court and a pretty sweet looking pool from an aerial shot. So right at the end of Taylor Court, I don't know how many kids would want to play hockey here, but this is kind of the dream of someone who wants uh, extremely low traffic and a nice place safe for the kids to play. And Brookville Public School gets great reviews from anybody whose kids go there. So that's the list for today. If you have any questions, give us a call at 905-693-9346 or just send us an email. We're glad to help. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.